Hi, my virtual assistant besties. How are you doing? Today, I'm going to be teaching you how to use Google Maps as a virtual assistant. If you're an executive assistant, personal assistant, travel planner, you want to know how to use Google Maps because I always tell you, it's not just about knowing how to use it, it's about knowing how to apply it. When do I use Google Maps as a virtual assistant? Number one, when I'm managing my boss calendar, I want to know how Google Maps works. You might be wondering, how does Google Maps relate with Google Calendar? I get it. You know, whenever you are maintaining your client's calendar, for example, let's assume your clients have an appointment, let's say a doctor's appointment, by 2 p.m. Yes, by 2 p.m. You don't want to add it to a calendar like you have an appointment by 2 p.m. You want to calculate what is the distance from our house to doctor's appointment. You want to know how many minutes you drive, is it work? So that you can calculate when your boss will leave the house. You don't expect your boss to leave the house at 2 p.m. You expect your boss to leave the house, let's say at 1.45, so that she can miss the appointment by 2 p.m. You get, if you don't know how to use Google Maps, you might not be able to do what? To advise her accordingly. And before I head over to my laptop to show you, there's another way in which I use Google Maps as a virtual assistant. Also, there might be a situation whereby your boss will ask you, Hey, Queen, can you um, look for a nearest clinic? I'm not feeling too well. I just wanted to look for a clinic that I can just walk to. I don't want to drive. I don't even have that strength to drive. You might be wondering, ah, but we're not living in the same place. I don't even know your country. How do you want me to know the closest clinic to you? A majority of you might be like, maybe I will just Google search. No. At times, Google Maps is, in fact, not at times. Google Maps is just the best tools to use to calculate or to check the closest clinic to your boss. So without wasting much of our time, I'm going to show you now how to calculate distance from point A to point B and also how to search for what is nearby so that when next your client is asking you to look for something nearby, you will know how to go about it. So without wasting much of our time, let's dive right into the tutorial. Now, the first thing we want to be looking at today is to search for the nearest clinic to your boss house that your boss can actually take a walk to. The first thing you want to do is to get your boss full address. So for the sake of this class, we, are, we can actually use this address. Let's use um, 1720. Okay, let's just pick this one. Let's assume your boss is in Chicago and this is our address. Paste the address here on the Google search. Then, if you look at the map, you're going to see this red sign. This red icon is the exact location of your boss. Now, what you want to do is to do what? Right click on it and click on what? Search nearby. Once you click on search nearby, this thing will pop up. Now, what are we searching for? We're searching for clinic. Now, type clinic in the search bar. I would advise that you don't choose from down for the from this drop down, just search for the clinic. Now, the moment you search for the clinic, your boss address will automatically turn to blue on the map. Now, what you are looking for will turn to red on the map. There are two ways in which you can actually check this thing. If you click, if you put your cursor here and you're looking at the map, it is showing us that from your boss address to the clear immediate clinic is two minutes drive. If you put your mouse on the south loop, it is saying two minutes drive. If you put it on the loop medical, it is saying one minute drive. You remember, your boss wants to walk. So what you have to do is come here. This is driving and set it to walking. Now, let's look at the Google map. That is another way in which you can, you know, check. Like, let's like let's look at the map itself, yeah. Don't let us look at this place. So, if you actually check this clear immediate care, it will show you four minutes work. Can you see? Now, let's search for Chicago Health Center. It is saying three minutes work. Let's put our mouse again. Let's look for another one. This clear immediate is saying four minutes. This Chicago in health is saying three minutes. This one is saying four minutes. So which means the closest to your boss is this clear immediate care or this Chicago in health. This Chicago is three minutes and this one is four minutes, which is relatively, you know, closer. So if you want to go for this Chicago in health center, all you have to do is just click on this Chicago in health center and everything about this Chicago in health center will pop up. Now, this is the name of the um, clinic. This is the address. You know, if they are closed, you get to know this is their website in case you want to do what you want to book an appointment. This is their phone number if you want to call them. Now, all you have to do once you make the appointment and everything is just to click on share and click on copy link and share this link to your boss. So when your boss actually click on the link, this is what your boss is going to see. Your boss is going to see exactly what you saw when you were searching for the nearby clinic. And if your boss is ready to go to this Chicago in health center, all what your boss needs to do is just to click on direction and to direct your boss from our house to this place. Now, let's 
move to how you can calculate distance from point A to point B if your boss wants to go from one place to another and your boss wants you to do what? To suggest the best route for her. So for the sake of this class, let's start afresh. So we are going to head over to Google Maps again. Don't forget. Google Maps. Now I have these two address ready. Yeah, these two address. I call this one point A and point B. Let's assume your boss wants to go from point A to point B and your boss is wondering, what is the fastest route for me to get here? Do you think I should drive? Do you think I should drive? Do you think I should enter a train? Do you think I should walk, you know? And the best thing you want to do is to first copy your boss address. Let's assume this is your boss address. Remember, the first thing you want to do is to search on the Google Maps. Then we click on search. Remember what I said? Your boss address will show as red on the map. And this is the red and this is your boss address now what you want to do is click on the red icon and click on directions from here because we need directions from here and these two things will pop up i think this is what we call coordinates or whatever but that's not why we are here just drag this back because we want to go from point a to point b so now what is our point b this is the second address this is where your boss is going to so you copy this one then come here and paste the second address to the point b and click on search the moment you click on search this is actually going to pop up now it's going to tell you that if you want to drive from point a to point b it is 35 minutes driving if you want to enter a train this is one hour four minutes if you want to walk this is the hours and if you want to cycle it. now it has given you the idea of the best you know transportations to take or whatever now if you look at this one if you want to drive it's telling you that this is the fastest route you can also go through here, but there are some traffic. If you want to take a train, this is the next um, time that the train will actually, you know, operate or come, whatever. So now, if you want to share this with your boss, all you have to do is just do what? Copy this link. The moment you copy this link and your boss click on it, this is exactly what your boss is going to see the moment she clicks on the link. Yeah, can you see? So your boss will also see this as well, and this can actually serve as a guide for your boss to know which one works best for her. Can you now see that it is important for you as a virtual assistant to know how Google Map works? So let me know what other tools should I cover in my next video. And I'll see you then. But please don't forget to do what? To subscribe, to share, and comment down below if you find these tips helpful. You're welcome, darling. Bye-bye.